great news about that is you save twenty or thirty thousand dollars. This is brand new. It's on a brand new ProMaster chassis. Check this out. This so we, is, we got wow. a full size bathroom here. Ooh. All the Road Truck uh, Zions, yeah. the plays, the chases. They all have this huge pantry. Patio <laughs> light. You have a water pump. You have, like I said, you have the inverter. Is how you turn your batteries on and off. The trademark thing with these guys, this brushed aluminum. Whoa, they elevated the fridge. They made it a little bigger. How great is that? So when it closed. So it's out of sight. What the hell is this thing? That is a television. Nice and big. Nice two big things of storage. This is the brand new ProMaster chassis for Gerard. Tankless hot water heater. You know, MSRP is 150. And All right, we're coming at you from Gainesville, Florida. What's so special about Gainesville, Florida? The Florida Gators. <laughs> no? <laughs> it's cracking me up. Sunshine State Sunshine RVs. Sunshine State RVs, yes. This is the home base for Sunshine State RVs. We have Nick with us today showing us one of the newest vans on the lot, and this is? Oh, 2024 Road Trek Play on a ProMaster chassis. It's really cool. Wait till you see the inside. But what's, what's cool is this is brand new. It's on a brand new ProMaster chassis, and this really had the inside has something very cool in it. I don't want to give it away quite yet, Scott. I want to make sure that, that people continue to watch, you know? I mean, know how that goes. So we're going to jump inside in just a second. But we want to show you this one compared to this one. They're both road trucks. Yeah. Um, so let me spin the camera around so he can so, walk us through that quick. This is the thing. Road truck makes a Zion, which is this gray, gray one right here. And this has the fancy paint. It has the power step. It has a leather and granite and lithium and all this like, like a uh, really cool upgraded fanciness i mean look at this they do like a real nice two-tone paint that has the power thule step if we jumped in you know the awnings nice two-tone if we jumped in we would see leather and we would see you know all this real Ooh, fancy big fancy high-end features high-end features the one that we're about to do the video on now is a road trek play so they made this to attract the more of the entry level market um they didn't do away with with their quality same two-year warranty, same um, features and floor plan and layout and, uh, and systems of a high-quality road track. But what they did away with were things like the paint on the bumpers. This is just a plastic clouded bumper, which is fine. They did away with the power running board. This is a big, nice, sturdy running board. When we jump in, you'll see there's not granite or leather. But the, the great news about that is you save twenty or $30,000. So some people say, you know what? I want to spend the money and I want the higher end product. Then you got a Zion. You're like, you know, I don't know if this is for me. I, I don't know if the class, you know, I'd, I'd rather start off simple. I'm only going to use it on weekends. I'm using it here and there. I don't need all that stuff. Then then the play is for you if, if, if you're committed to the Road Trek brand. I like how they give you the same exact floor plan, same exact layout, but they give you two options. They give you like the, the crazy rowdy brother, then the more conservative. It's like the big brother, little brother <laughs> type thing. I don't know which one you are, Scott. Um, I'm the rowdy big You're brother. You're the rowdy one. <laughs> I, <know. laughs> I was a more conservative big brother. My little brother was more the rowdy one. <laughs> <laughs> well, let's uh, thank you for that. And again, I think what makes us so handsome is on the outside, it's, it's got the new chassis. So this is all interior and exterior chassis. Upgrade. Yes, all the new safety features, all the new upgrades, the push button start, the big nav screen, all the new safety stuff. Yeah. that ProMaster has put in these. The new front end, the new wheels, the new, I mean, they're really, really nice. This is a road track uh, trademark here. Uh, yeah. uh, used to be real, real windows, but now they they're- did. Uh, They uh, did, they did. We used to recalk those things every few months. Uh, <laughs> I'm glad they put, uh, well, actually my service department would rather have windows because it's something for them to fix. Yeah, right. I'm glad they put uh, stickers there now to kind of give you the trademark. And you can see one coming down the road. The outside's pretty cool, but the inside, for me, is where all the juice is. So we're, I always start my videos on the inside. And Nick? We're, we're about to do the big reveal. Are you ready to see your new house? Three, two, one. Check this out. Whoa. This is a brand new interior color and cabinetry by Road Trek. It is really nice. It is. They're celebrating their 50th year. They started in 1974. They were the first Class B manufacturer. And to celebrate, they're, they're doing a few new releases this year, and this is one of them. This is a um, composite honeycomb material. So the composite honeycomb is really cool because this is textured. This is like a smooth aluminum brush something, and then this is like a nice light gray-ish taupe it's um, composite material, yeah. And it feels to me like kind of a matte yes. finish, but kind of like how a banana skin feels. Banana skin? Yeah. It's really silky smooth, but got yeah. a little bit of 
tack to it. It's really lovely. And this is just a great contrast. Man, it looks very it European. Is. I like how there's the, the matte composite material, there's the metal and the wood all in the same. I think it gives it a nice, a nice cool look. You know, I, I have four kids, Scott, you know that. You know, 19, 17, 14, and 13. So all four of them are teenagers right now. Yikes. Kind of crazy. Expensive. But I, very <laughs> expensive. But something I always think about is how easy can something be cleaned, right? Just from when they were two, four, six, and eight. <laughs> Yep. <laughs> Everything is about how easy can this be cleaned. I feel like this material, no matter what, a dog, uh, a scratch, um, someone scuffs it, I feel like this can be cleaned very, very easily because of the type of material it is. That's a great point. And even where they put the handles right here, where every all the touches happen, yeah. it won't show that at all. But oh, wipes off really true, or yeah. really um, really easily, right? Yeah. Should we start with the best room in the house since we're stepping yeah. in, or do you so, want to start back here? So kind of going along with the whole theme of the play versus design, this is the same layout. I mean, this is a twin bed, full-size fridge, full-size bathroom, nice everything. I mean, we have you know push-button lights that I really like. There's no firefly, so it keeps it simple. There's a power awning, which is kind of nice. Um, so they didn't skimp out on quality. This has the underhood generator, 3000 watt inverter. Um, everything has solar. Everything can be ran. Everything in this coach can be ran when the engine's on or when you're plugged in. So if you're plugged in, everything can be on. Microwave, air conditioner. When your engine's on, it's generating power through that underhood generator. And then everything in here can be run that way as well. Acts like you're plugged in. Correct. That's Correct. Cool. Yeah. No, it's very neat. But yeah, let's let's, let's, start. let's start here. This so we is, we got wow. a full size bathroom here. Look how beautiful this is. Yeah. Very nice. Full Functional size. You got sink. a sink. You got a shower. You got a place for your for all of your supplies. You know, I always make the joke that if my wife was in one of these, she would need eight uh, of hits. those for <laughs> hair and face and foot wash and hand wash and elbow wash and everything else. Exfoliation. Exfoliation. I just needed eight in one. <laughs> If they can make a a uh, deodorant, shampoo, soap, and toothpaste all in one, Holy I can, cow. I can use it. Doesn't the army use something like that? I, hey, I'm in. <laughs> so very nice space in here. You know, I'm six foot tall, 230 pounds. I can fit and walk. I can brush my teeth. I can, you know, do my little bit of hair I have left. Right. Um, and there's a shower curtain though for the shower because these are. Yeah, I mean, I, this is. Pre I mean, I, th I gotta think this is waterproof. But they do give you a shower curtain yeah. so that way it doesn't drip out. And I love the huge mirror. That you know, is really something else that's cool is when you do shut it, it's hard to tell, but it kind of gives you a little bit of an angle there. So it doesn't shut all the way. Yeah. It kind of gives you a little bit of a, a little room. more room there, yeah. which is nice. Thanks for demoing it. It's really lovely. Yeah. It's really nice. And it also helps on weight. This is really light, this material, um, oh, yeah. because it's a composite honeycomb. As long as there's no bees left in it from the honeycomb. <laughs> It is a light material, which is nice. So, Ooh. all the road track uh, Zions, yeah. the plays, the chases, they all have this huge pantry here, which is nice. That this, is I would enormous. fill it up with Cinnamon Toast Crunch and all my other things I like to eat. See, beef jerky, bourbon, bourbon, <laughs> bourbon. and jerky. <laughs> I'm a very simple, I have Cinnamon Toast Crunch, Encrustables, Ben & Jerry's, ham and cheese sandwiches, nice. just very simple. Maybe show this before we move to the back. What is, yeah. so this is kind of the... It's so just, this is the extent of their control panel. I mean, you have a patio simple. light, you have a water pump, you have, like I said, you have the inverter. It's how you turn your batteries on and off, and then you have your tanks. So fresh water, black water, gray water, propane, and then you open the awning. This nice. is the extent of it. It's pretty simple. You know, um, someone was joking. They said, oh, that's like the grandpa version. Because <laughs> it just makes it very simple, very it's, easy. Um, and simplicity is just so much better. It is. It um, is. You know, I, I like, so Road Trek makes these screens. Um, and I really like them because there's a few things. So you have blackout here that only comes to here. Because once your doors oh, yeah. close, it obviously covers that. Um, and then once this is up, you have a regular screen here that you can drop there. as well. Yeah. Nice. And I like their screen. Oh, here we go. I like the screen on the back, Scott. I can't wait to show you that. Um, it it really it really is a unique screen because the screen has storage, and storage is such a oh. big part of these Class B. So in the screen, there's these big storage pockets. So pretty cool. Um, okay, so moving into the kitchen. Galley. So, galley. Oh, love the galley. Galley. Um, this is the same size as a Zion, as a Chase, and as the Play, which is really neat. You have. Your countertop here, you have, this one has an, a, a propane stove. The Zion would have induction if you want that. So that's one of those upgrades. The Zion would have granite, where well, this has a really nice looking Formica. Yeah. Um, and, then, and then you have plugs here for 110, 12 volt, and USB. 
a really nice plumbing stack. Looks residential. Well done. And, and you know what's nice about that? People are like, oh, I can see it. And I get it. But for from a service standpoint, you'd yeah. rather see it. Because when you see it, you can service it a lot easier, a lot yeah. quicker, a lot simpler. And you're not taking up storage to cover it. Right. Which is just a key. Um, again, and Reptrex made in... in Canada, is that right? They are. They're made in Kitchener, Canada, which is just outside of Toronto, about 45 minutes. So really, and they were the first ones who bring this to the market. This is just a trademark thing with these guys, this brushed aluminum. Yeah. I wish I had this in my van. It's so beautiful. A little bit of a light up here, which is great. And, and splash guards. You know aluminum. what's nice is all these lights are independent. Mm. So you can turn one off. You can, if it's like, man, I'm cooking right here. This light's real bright in my face. You just turn it off. Yes. If you're sleeping and you want certain lights on and off, it's great. You know, it's really great. Nice big drawer. drawer. Um, microwave and I like so this where the door there had a very little bit of the honeycomb wood on this this has a lot of it which I think gives it's, it a really nice look it's kind of a visual separation of space yeah yeah it's, it's cool. really smart it's cool and I like how the line yeah, kind of yeah. goes so my wife's an interior designer and when I showed her this she was like whoa that's neat <laughs> it's kind of like European style it is whoa look at the size of this thing this is big this is big wardrobe or you can put shelves in yeah you can. You, you can use it a lot. People use it however they... Yeah. I mean, very functional. We're selling a van today to a guy that has two birds. He has a parrot and a little baby owl. It's about that big. And I learned today you have to have a permit to have an owl as a pet. Did you know that, Scott? I think kids should have a permit, too. <laughs> what do you, you think? Mean parents should have a permit to have kids? <laughs> exactly. Yes. Um, I don't know if I would have got one when I was 22 years old having kids. But... Um, but you know, so they're looking at their RV like, okay, where are we going to put our, our birds? Where are we going to put Winston? And I don't know the other bird's name, but you know, it's like everybody uses these things so different yeah. and to have a cabinet like this and a oh, pantry cool. like that. And we're about to cover before we actually <coughs> move on. We're in the, <clears throat> yeah, I'm sorry. <clears throat> yeah, <I did. laughs> before we actually move on from the galley. Yeah. Let's show this. This is pretty cool. Yeah. And I love the fact that it's up high. Um, versus low. Look oh my god, look at the size of that thing. You so, can sublet that for, I don't know, birds and owls. Birds and owls. Pretty neat. <laughs> Pretty neat. So back in 2014, when Roadtrek started making these Zions, this was like revolutionary, right? Because nobody was making a fridge this size that was elevated. Everybody's fridge was half the size and it was on the floor. So all the Class B manufacturers were making small fridges and putting them on the floor. Roadtrek came out with this back in 2014 and everyone's like, whoa, they elevated the fridge. They made it a little bigger. How great is that? Now everybody's doing bigger fridges. Everyone's elevating them, which is great. Road Trek was innovative. You know what else they came out with in 2014? What? Lithium. Uh, they were the first manufacturer to produce lithium in the Class Bs. So they started it all. They did. And they were one of the first to actually make Class Bs in 1974. Yeah. Like it's They were making conversion vans. And Kannemeyer, I think his last name was, the guy that owned Road Trek, bought the conversion company and started making vans like rvs i was like man i want a toilet and a fridge in my van and so he started it back in 1974 it's so uh, pretty crazy let's see this bad fridge this yes. looks oh wow that is really nice there and then you have a separate and again to your point because it's elevated at least the fridge is kind of where everybody goes first and it's really big and it's at a comfortable level and the freezer which you don't get into very often is there but it's not you know down, you have to get on your hands and knees to get to the fridge where you normally yeah. are. So. And that's what a lot of these manufacturers are. And I don't know how to say this word, but it's Vitri Frigo. Vitra Frigo. Vitra Frigo. That's uh, Italian for refrigerator. I believe it. <laughs> Vir virtual fridge? <laughs> virtual fridge. I don't know. There's nothing virtual about it. It's really nice. It is really nice. All right. right. Into the great room. Yes. We go. Bedroom. The, this is very aesthetically pleasing, as my wife would say. It is um, very nice. Actually. Yeah, it is nice. So check this out also. Feel that. So that's oh, yeah. that's the positive oh, yeah. reaction. Ooh, so so when they're closed. So it's out of sight. They don't open. And you kind of grab it right here. Which kind of it lends to the streamlined yeah. feeling of it. It does. It feels like an airplane cabin to me. Very neat. Very nice. And the same thing here. And huge. And this does have solar. The solar controllers in there. I like how this goes all the way back here. So nice big storage compartments here. Yep. I like how they even continue it here just for the look. You know, it's about the look. It's about the feel, the aesthetic. Because, Scott, like yourself, people live in these things. Yeah. And when you live in them, you want it to look good. It's not look just about good function. Look good and feel good. I said, yeah. fashionable function. You're the rowdy good. little brother. You want things to, <laughs> to look cool and feel cool. Yes, and, sir. 
So as we're looking through lots of storage, lots of big storage things, you know, they give you all of this extra stuff here. You know, one of the cool things is when they give you all these owner's manuals, you can go through, you can read them and all that, but they give you an owner's manual, like a printed owner's manual for this, which is really nice. There's also a PDF, so you can you can access it on your iPad or phone or whatever. What the hell is this thing? That is a television. What? Look at that fancy cover. Can you believe that? Look that, at that is cool. Road check started doing this. No one still, no one else does it. Because look at a black triangle. It just is not a rectangle. It is not it's just not uh, attractive. Triangle. I don't know where that came from. About the geometry. Well, class, here, 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 oh, maybe. <laughs> Um, but yeah, it is nice. It's out of the way. It's, you know, comforting. Yeah, it's really a good size, but not too big, too small. You know, something else I like, Scott, is I like the fabric wall. Yeah. So I think that's a nice touch, especially like we talk about if you're living here, you're sleeping on this. You're not rubbing up against some hard plastic. You're not rubbing up against like a wood. Like you're like, like, yeah. you know, if I toss and turn. I actually slept in an RV last, last week, Scott. I don't know if you know that or not. We did our first ever Van Brie. Sunshine Van Brie. We literally had vans from all over the country come to Gainesville, Florida to camp with Scott Watson and, and Hank Strange and, and Nick. And, me, and, they, and what they liked best about it was Live What's Up Wednesday and yeah, the bourbon the tasting. Bourbon tasting. Yeah, everybody was lined up for that <laughs> bourbon. I saw one guy could barely pour the bourbon in his cup. And I said, dude, that's your sign. That's you your sign you're done. If you anymore. If you can't, Stop <laughs> drinking my expensive bourbon this late at night. <laughs> I think it probably adds a little sound deadening. Yeah. And insulation. Yeah. How are these insulated pretty well? I'm they are. So, Canada, so, I would guess. so they're made in Canada, so they're always thinking through cold weather, snow, ice, all of that. So they're insulated very well. And I just think this is something to keep it nice and warm yeah. weather wise inside, but also warm feeling. You know, like we talk about this here. This is that European design. Everybody likes that new European, the modern look. And I think this is just very comfortable. I really yeah. do. I think this is this is you know nice. You do have shades. You have blackout and shades. These windows that, do open. That one opens this one just yep. too, so you can get screen. Which they is great. slide open. You got to be probably. It's, it's a brand new RV, so they haven't really been used much. But yeah, <laughs> they slide open, and then you have your nighttime and daytime there. So this also can make one big huge bed. Um, there's seat belts here. These are really wider, I think, than normal. Oh uh, yeah, they're twin beds. I mean, they're probably let me, three let me lay on inches. and I'll show, kind of give you. Um, I mean, compared to like a, I don't people, know, people like to see one bag. Oh yeah, you don't need live that. action role playing. You got tons of space. Yeah, tons of space. Oh, let me actually scoot down because my head was hanging. There tons of space. Yeah, these so, are definitely wider. Yeah. Nice and big. I don't think you even need to make this a big bed. You know, twin beds are huge in vans. Yeah. Floor plan. But what's nice is when you when you drop your your legs, you, you can get out of bed. Um, you if you did want to make it together, you can put that there and yeah. you can have a cup holder. If you don't, you know. And this is an important thing here, Nick. I think some of the manufacturers have the bed so high, you, your feet actually don't touch the floor. I, I am. I mean, yes. My wife this is one. five foot two. Her feet dangle a lot, I notice. Mine don't dangle so much, being six foot tall. <laughs> but that's pretty cool. And they, so, but yes, uh, it is low, though. I do feel it's yeah, low. Yeah, and um, really wide table mount. Uh, table so mount here. Uh, There's also a table mount in the front. I don't know if we here. covered that. Um, and this is a table. Nope, tables must be back here. Table is stored. So check out the oh, innovative the storage for the table on the back door. Nice. We're going to yeah. check outside in a minute. Um, and do the, um, is it like a chase lounge style? There, Nick? Uh, yeah, so these come up. So you nice. see that there? They come up so that way you can sleep with it reclined. So you can watch, watch TV, TV if you like. Right. Um, and then when you're ready to go to sleep, you can lay it flat. You know, my wife recently had shoulder surgery. And so when she was sleeping and she actually slept in the RV with me, she loves me a lot to do that. <laughs> uh, two weeks out after torn labrum surgery. Um, but she, the RV we slept in was a Coachman Galleria, the 24A. So it had reclining. And she was able to sleep very comfortably because this reclined up like that, and yeah. it had and it had a it's lot of space in it. Really smart. Yeah. And he's mentioned seat belt, so it's got uh, two seat belts two seat there. I don't think there's any on this side. There are Probably none on this side. There's just on this side. Yeah. And again, smart engineering here leaves space between these two things, so you can um, have your uh, feet here, so this doesn't go all the way yep. to the bottom. Storage underneath, nice. Nice. Two big things of storage, which are nice, and they're consistent with the color. You know, sometimes as you get underneath things, you find there's lack of consistency yeah. with the color. Road Trek decided to just keep it all very consistent, very much the same um, to where 
this matted gray composite honeycomb material yeah. is everywhere in the coach, Just which is beautiful. nice. And above us is air conditioning? Yep. So the Play comes with a Dometic air conditioner. The Zions come with the new Truma air conditioner. Oh. So that's something else that is an upgrade. Um, the Truma is a little quieter. Dometic's perfectly fine. And there again, for the twenty to $30,000 worth of savings, you know, there are things that have to be cut out. Pretty smart little rig, right? I'm super impressed. It's, there's just a, a few, this is, doesn't feel like road track to me, but it feels like road track. Yeah. I don't know how to describe it. It's, sometimes they're very dark, but this is very, I want to say European, kind of Scandinavian. Just the, the color scheme is so beautiful. Yeah. And it's just really well thought out and put together. Um, you know, we had the VP of sales on uh, What's Up Wednesday. Uh, it's probably been six or eight months ago. But, Len uh, McGoogle. Yeah, Len, he was, he was great. <laughs> Len, Len really is the driving force behind yeah, a lot of this. I mean, he, does such, he does such a great job, very innovative, very creative, yeah. and, and does a great job with, with the value of all of this, with you know making sure that they're bringing new things to the market. Yeah, I would say Len is, Len yeah, is definitely driving a nice ship there. He's driving a nice ship. We're going to ask Nick to show us the cab real fast just so we can see what that looks like. We're going to jump outside outside and point a few things then we have to you know thank sunshine state rvs for giving us uh, next time and access to this van and so this is the newer version of what you have scott uh, i'm not saying that to try to convince you to trade your van in with us or anything but this is the newer <laughs> more upgraded more luxurious more better um more better version. <laughs> more better version than what you have um this is the brand new pro master chassis so this is all electric this is like a digital um odometer speedometer area here these are all new controls on the steering wheel you have the new 10 inch navigation screen you have the push button start so you put the key in your pocket in your purse oh, yeah. and you press to start here um, you have lots of cool controls on here so you have big navigation you have apple carplay you have android carplay you have built-in internet there's you know wi-fi hotspots. i mean there's so much nice stuff that's a part of this all all of the cameras and, and the big screen. I mean, there's lots of uh, very, oh, yeah. I mean, that's a big, that's big backup camera. If you run to a tree backing up, that's your fault. 100%. <laughs> I always wonder if someone's telling you to back up and you hit something, whose fault is it? The guy telling you to back up or the guy driving? The guy sitting here ultimately, I think. <laughs> I agree. Uh, USB, what is, USC. What is this thing? This is a cell phone charger. So what you do is you put your phone in there and that is a wireless charging pad. Oh, that's cool. So it's kind of a, it doubles as a hands-free. So you're not holding your phone and it stores it there and that charges while it's sitting there. And then you navigation off the CarPlay thing. Yes. So no cords hanging around. Super smart. Correct. Correct. And I like, I like the storage up here. This is very nice. Uh, yeah. You can, you should put maps up there, but now that you have all this other stuff. Cold weather gear. Cold this weather is gear. good thinking here. So a lot of folks uh, would not put a special light in the cab because these seats spin around. This is your table. Yeah. So they give you a little bit of adjustable light in the cab. Yeah. Very a lot cool. of people would not do that. I think I don't think I've ever seen that before actually. Yeah. And well, Super it's smart. it's you know it's part of integrating because these RVs are so small. You yeah. know that it's integrating this area with that area. Living so space. making it. This is a living space up here. This is a very comfortable living space, actually, with the table and, and and everything. So they make it. Sorry, I got stuff on the seat there. You're fine. Very, very comfortable living area here. So when you buy a van from Sunshine State RVs, do you get a free water bottle? You do. So you get. A, we have Yeti cups. We got water bottles. We got bottles of wine. <laughs> we give you hats. Everything you can imagine. I like it. We we pitch it. We also give you two free nights camping the day you buy your coach. We teach you how to use it. And then from after teaching you, we put you up at a local campground for two nights. Remember during Vanbury, Santa Fe Palms RV Resort. But during Vanbury, we had just happened to have people who bought an RV that day, a road trek, and they were camping there that night. It was our first RV too. First time They were ever. so cute. Yes. They were. They were great. They were like kids in a candy store. Yes. And they're like 120 years old and they were like teenagers. It was unbelievably yes. cool. Yes. Um, Nick, let's jump outside. Um, there's a few things we want to point out here. And again, just a beautiful... Just a beautiful van. Show yeah. us outside. Yes, let's do it. So we've already kind of covered the fact that it's got an awning here. This Power is electric, awning. right? Yep. Um, manual step, which some propane. like, don't like. Uh, there's your propane. So they kind of hide things here, which is uh, kind of cool, right? They do. Magnetic. magnetic. So again, streamlining helps keep some of the dirt away. Smart. Um, let's go around this way. So this is, um, it is electric, but also has manual. It has legs. Legs, so, so for security. Yeah. security. Um, Play. I love this. Isn't that cool? Um, lights. There. Which way you want to go, sir? Are you filming? Yeah. Right now? Yeah. I thought you were doing the, your little sample thing. 
I was letting you just kind of go through your little practicing you normally do. <laughs> so what's cool about that is you can have a little uh, grill out here. So they give you an extension. Oh. So you can have a little propane grill here that you plug into there and it kind of gives you a, a chance to use the big propane tank for the coach. Let's show that again then. Yeah, so right there. Right so there. that little yellow that thing. little thing right there. All right. Nice. Yeah, it's cool. So you can have a little propane grill here under the awning with the LED lights and this is like your camping area, you know? Um, as you kind of walk around, what I like about this particular area is this middle area here, you can slide things in, you can store things. If you leave this as, some people leave it as a bed full time, right? A lot of people do actually. Just make this in a bed and just leave it. Or make it into twin beds and leave it. This middle part's a lot of storage. Still available with a bed made. Still available with a bed made. Um, you got a little storage there. That gives you your smart plug. It gives you the boards to make the full, the bed. full size bed. You got more storage there. Very cool that the table is stored on the door out of the way of everything else. Uh, what people have done is who want two tables is we've gotten this and we put it on this door also. So that way they have two tables, one for the front one for the back. and one for the back, both at the same time. So great. So very neat. So down here, this is kind of different. Um, so we've got tow hitch, which is sort of obvious. It's a ramp, so it's about yeah. 3,800. Yeah, 35, 3,800. Um, water inlet on the exterior? Water, water fill, fill water and, fill. and uh, city water hookup city on the water, exterior. Right there. And then we zoom around over and here. Then you have your cable hookup for cable TV on the right. And then on the left is a 30 amp shore power. Oh, so it's really low. Man, you, that's kind of interesting. Uh, I don't want to touch that. Cable TV? Yep, so cable TV. All your stuff's back here. That's really smart. So no cuts in the sides. Yeah, so they don't do much on the sides. Um, Except for the shower. Yeah, so you have an out, outdoor shower here. So you can wash your feet, wash your dog, yeah. whatever you, you do in your outside shower. And then this is for Gerard tankless hot water heater. So there is a Gerard hot water heater on the play. That's and there again on the Zion, they do a Truma system. Okay. So some of the differences, you know, we've, we've kind of been showing differences throughout the whole tour. That is one of the differences as well. You get a Gerard tankless, which is still great. There's nothing wrong with Gerard or a tankless hot water heater. 100%. Um, but that, that's what comes with this. And then here, this is very unique to Road Trek. This is a uh, gravity fed area, plus there is a macerator pump. So very cool. Something that Road Trek is very proud of is the high quality that they are, that they make everything out of. So, you know, I've seen macerator hoses that are nowhere near as high quality as this. Very long, very big. So how does it work? I'm a little confused. So, so there's both. There's, this is toilet waste or this is? This is toilet waste. What happened to your big hose? So that is a backup. Backup. So there's a um, macerator in the toilet. There's so, a macerator, oh, and if you want that's a, actually and if you want a gravity-fed backup, that's the backup. Oh, then the, it pumps out this way. Yeah, because people's concern is always if the macerator doesn't work, what do we do? Because I've seen some of the macerators on this end, which is kind of the wrong end. Yeah. Right. It mm -hmm. should be in the toilet where it belongs. Wow, that's cool. Yes, it is up in there, and then and then you have your gravity backup there, and then you can store. Your hose somewhere, I don't know exactly where it gets stored. That's a long hose too. This is so, long. Nice so that's what thick. goes into the drain in the in the ground. In the ground and hit the button and it pumps. That's it. That's nice. Now we gotta figure so, out how to un <laughs> unring the bell. Yes, the unring nice. the bell. Unring the bell. Put the cat back in the in the bag. Look at that. That's Look at that, boys Woo! and girls. Ta -da. That's smooth. I like that a lot. So very cool, very neat. And then it's up out of the way. Magnetic. And a little clip. And this is just running board, yeah, nothing? Just, a, just nothing, just, just there to kind of streamline it. Again, saving a few bucks, but no uh, no thing here. But no step, that's but you know, yeah. I don't really need it. I don't think you need it. So here's here's the button for the macerator here. Oh yeah. So you you hook it in and you stand safe, dif safe distance away, kind of like you're doing a firework. You stand like this. <laughs> you kind of stand like this and you just do this. One, two, three, go. And then you press it and then you watch it all. <laughs> you watch it all leave. How's watch that? Watch it all leave. Uh, that's so, so great. What else is really cool, Scott, are these windows. So these are automotive style windows that they just look really sharp, right? Yep. They, I mean, just look really nice. It kind of gives it that real sleek look that... Like a limousine almost, like, yeah, a, like a, yeah. a limousine van. I think it's nice. I think it's real unique. It's real nice. I agree. Um, not all manufacturers do this. Some give you two small windows and then they paint the area in between to kind of, you know, make it look like this, but they actually give you windows everywhere. I mean, lots of windows lots in this of coach. Windows. It's so great. 
This is a really impressive van. Uh, this is for sale? This is currently? for sale, okay. yes. So brand new 2024. Brand new 2024 with all of the new upgrades on the ProMaster chassis and the road track portion of it. You know, pricing is always tough to talk about in videos because people quote me on pricing from five years ago. And so, you know, MSRP is 150 and then it kind of goes from there. Uh, this is about $30,000 cheaper than a Zion. And in my opinion, you, you, you I mean, not losing $30,000 worth. Now, some people have to have lithium and leather and granite and power steps. I get that. But for those people, this is this is yeah, great. It's a great entry point. You, know, you get a lot of van for your money. Mm -hmm. I'm really impressed. And bang, bang for your buck, as you say. Bang for the buck, which is so important. And um, although this uh, video is not sponsored by, I just want to thank you again for your time in Sunshine State. It's just a great uh, yeah. friend to me and the channel. And, any of you that camped out with us uh, last week, um, seems like a month ago already. It does. Um, we're going to be doing more of these. We'll have some announcements in the coming weeks. But, we have one um, coming up very soon, actually. Very soon. But uh, why? Um, so I like to bring um, dealers on, brands on that I believe in. Um, tell us why people should buy a van from Sunshine State RVs. Yeah, so there again, there's a thousand reasons. Um, if you do buy, Scott gets a million dollar commission check. Not really. <laughs> um, but. <laughs> Cool. Uh, really, uh, we have a Sunshine State Elite Club. So part of that is free delivery anywhere in the nation. Um, if you don't want it delivered, if you want to come here, which is what I recommend, you come here, we, we fly you here, we rent your car, bring you here, we give you a real thorough walkthrough, teach you how to use the RV. And then once we do that, we put you up at a campground for the first two nights. So that way you can test everything in the van, make sure two things. One, you know how everything works and, and you know that everything works. So you are, you are when you are leaving Florida, you are very confident that everything's working the way it should and that you know how to work it. You know, a lot of the, the issues that come from these vans, people don't know how to use them. Yeah. They don't know how to use the electrical system, the waste system, the hot water heater. And so they end up making issues. But what's even cool, so that's all before the sale, right? Then you give us your money and then and then in most places that's why say, keep <laughs> peace out, right? That's not how Sunshine State RVs does yeah. it. We guarantee you service appointments within five days. We also give you tech support on the phone anytime you need it after you buy your coach, as long as you own it. And then if you live within 100 or so miles of us, we pick your van up, bring it back to the dealership, service it, and then re-deliver it back to your house at no charge the whole time you own it. Yeah, it's just, a, it, you know, buying a van is just that. But you're really creating a relationship with somebody that's going to support your van travel style for many, many years. Mm -hmm. And these things aren't inexpensive on purpose because they're a traveling house, but it's a relationship with the dealer and the service behind it, I think is what's the biggest thing for me. And I just you know, preach to the audience all the time that you kind of interview your dealer, and yeah, get a good deal, but it's the support after the sale, I think is, is what's really priceless. So just- that's, that's the conversation we have all yeah, the time. Yeah. You might save money somewhere else, someone might be desperate for business, but you know, what we do is from the day you buy it, until the day you do not own it anymore. We are there with you the entire, read our reviews, read what people are saying, yeah. ask people, yeah. and, and they'll tell you consistently, Sunshine State, we're not perfect, but they'll tell you that that we take care of our customers. Yeah, 100%. Number one, ban B Van Dealer in the- State of Florida, number three in the whole United States of America. And the number one Coachman dealer? Oh yeah, top Coachman dealer. We sell more road trucks than anybody else, sell more Midwest RVs than anybody else. I mean, yeah. And all they do cool. is vans, which means they know vans really well. And they actually fixed a little toilet problem I had. So after five years of flushing that thing, the seal finally went out. So a big thanks to you guys uh, for helping me out there. I did not personally fix it. <laughs> it got fixed. It's true. Um, thanks for watching. Um, if you like van tours, like place to take your van, and you like camp outs, we got a lot of that coming up. Um, Nick, just thanks again for everything you yes, do. Sir. I mean, the channel. Many of you have bought from them in this audience. and. Um, you know, keep it up. Until we see you soon, we say journey on and peace be with you.